list 14 Igbo presidential candidates. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Ahead of 2023 presidential elections, lawyer, author, and political strategist Aham Njoku has listed 14 presidential candidates of Igbo extraction who can occupy the office of the president of Nigeria. Asked why he published the list, the constitutional lawyer said we are giving every Igbo person the sense of belonging and we are also projecting our unity to the rest of Nigerians. Further, he said, we want to show, contrary to the propaganda in some quarters, that Igbos have more than enough presidential materials. We are saying that all political parties should adopt an Igbo presidential candidate, just like in 1999 when both PDP and AD fielded two Yoruba presidential candidates, Igbo should now be fielded in all political parties. According to him, since independence, the North has always been the political partners of the East. In 1960, Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe was the president while al Haji Tafawa Balewa was the prime minister. In 1979, President Shehu Shagari was the president and Dr. Alex Ikwimi was the vice president. Even President Babangida chose Ebitu Ukiwe to be his vice. Asked about Bola Sinemba's aspiration, and Joko said, Bola Sinemba knows that it is the turn of the Igbos to produce the president. He should wait till it is the turn of the Yorubas. Do not forget that in 1999, Igbos were shortchanged when Dr. Al Alex Ekwemi was asked to step aside for Ulushego Ulush Basenjo to assuage Yorubas for MKO Abiola's issue. See the list. Peter B. Nia Wodu, Dr. Chris Ngege. Dr. Obonaya Onu, Senator Pius Anim, Senator Ike Ewori Maju, Chief Emeka Ihedioha, Chibike Amechi, Barista Ezeumu Wike, Dr. Ifani Okowa, Engineer Dave Umahi, Barista Emeka Mwajuba, Chief Obi Agocha, and Dr. Kinsley Mogalu. These are the list of the names he listed. The only legit names I see here are Peter Obi, Equerimadu, and Kingsley. The rest are Fulani messengers. Which Equerimadu, what example did he lay as Deputy Senate President for eight years? Look at Enugu on your Express Road. Remove Equerimadu from the list. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mr. Wright, Chibike Amechi is not an Igbo man. Who told you? Why will an Igbo man deny his heritage? <laughs> We are no longer considering empty and wasteful Igbo political leaders who may embarrass the nation. We need leaders with good sense of political economy. The list is sound and graphic. Huh. Did Wike tell you that he is an Igbo man? Apart from number 8 and 14, the others are alleged to be old crooked politicians. They should not be recycled anymore. Give the youth and others who are below 55 years a chance. Wonderful. Wonderful. Whoever wrote this news is, <laughs> oh my goodness, is terrible confused because we already said he's not an Igbo man. Why do you include him as Igbo? Honestly, if he was a Nigerian, would agree with one voice. Let them present Prof. Kingsley Mogalu and rally round him. I have seen good potential and inspiration from him to rebuild Nigeria to greater heights. It was so then because the North and South East realized the conspiracy against MKO Abiola was unjustified. Hems Magna animously allowed it to be so, but in the present circumstances, it's a different ball game. Hmm. Let me add number 15, Biko. Hope Uzodema. Excellent. Hoping they will not outplay each other as they did when opportuned to become. Senate President. Hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. So this is the list of the names. Uh, well, this is a mere suggestion and a mere opinion. A lot of um, statements have been coming from the Northern Governors, the NGF, and the Southern Governors. So the Northern Governors are even saying they, have not, they are not even going to allow that there is no going to be zoning. But if um, the Igbos want to emerge or the South Easterners want to emerge as president, or rather the South wants to emerge as president, that they should negotiate with the North, that they would not be coerced and they would not be forced into um, 
drop how do they put the statement i do not want to quote wrongly but they are not going to be coerced into doing what they do not want to do that as far as they are concerned that the north are capable enough in terms of popular i mean population to produce the next president of nigeria and i keep saying this population is not our problem that the north or the south or what have you have population is not a problem it is not even where this person comes from now that is the issue though right now right now with the situation in nigeria having a president from the south not just the south the south it will come a lot of agitations in fact it will come the agitation that is raging everywhere that is everywhere and that is increasing with um each passing day it will calm it down very well if not to bring it to the barest minimum so um, this particular issue will calm it down. But the truth is Nigerians do not need a leader from this place. We need a Nigerian president that will come in and will shun bad governance, will come in and will shun nepotism, will come in and will shun ethnicism, will come in and will shun tribalism. It is going to be done. We need somebody that is very strong-minded because um, a lot of things will happen. Things like, oh, these people, this particular region, when they were in government, they were marginalizing us. We want them to have a taste of how it can feel like. They will kick against it. The person that will say, no, even though we have been marginalized. Somebody that will say, even though the land is bleeding, we should not keep cutting ourselves. Somebody that will come in and we suit everyone's wound. Even though we have been marginalized, even though we have everybody will be comfortable why the person is going to come with equity people appointed will be people that merit the appointments not not even people from this that's people that merit that know what they are doing you are going to put somebody in the ministry of finances that is a wonderful economist somebody that has proven that he is good and he knows his onions in that particular department. You are going to put somebody in the Ministry of Works just like that. Somebody that has proved that he knows what he's doing in that particular department. Somebody that is going to be handling the power sector and all. Somebody that has proven that he or she can do well. That is the people we want. In allocation of funds, there is equity. In, in this, this is security, the, the, the person that will come in and his administration will, you know, you know, and the thing is, apart from a president now, we also need a change of administration. I hope we know that. The, the administration that will come in and a lot of things will be done. We will really see it, even though we will, might not even get to see them immediately because of how plunged back we are now. We are going to be able to see it in no distant time on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you so much for tuning in till i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day